Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connor here from Menu Docs, and welcome back to a new episode on the Menu Docs channel. Today we're going to be doing a command handler. Now, you can see that we have all these commands in the index file, it's in one singular file, and this becomes really messy, and obviously we only have about six commands, and it's already looking extremely long. There is, what, over a hundred lines of code in the uh, actual index file itself, and we are going to get rid of this. So the first thing we're actually going to do is we're just going to move this down a bit. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do bot.commands and then we're going to equal new discourse collection. And this is just, and then we're going to add bot.aliases new discord.collection. Now, don't forget these, these are important, but we also want to do const fs equals require fs. And if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure file sort is already installed. Um, do you know what, just, just for safety reasons, we're going to install it. I'm pretty sure it just comes with the package itself, but I can't entirely remember. So just do that and then dash dash shave is just what I do because I want it in the file. Um, yeah so we have file sorter now so let's remove that so under this right here we just want to do fs dot read uh directory and then dash commands slash that's not god damn it why is my thing not working and then what we want to do is we want to make sure to check for errors or we want to check for files and then we're going to do little arrow function i didn't do it correctly we need to add the, the stuff here and then we'll move that back up here add semicolons because semicolons are the thing that exist to uh make everything just beautiful now what we're going to do is we're going to check if there is an error and then what we're going to do is console.log um just the error and then the next thing we're going to do is let js file equal files.filter and then f equals uh sorry arrow uh arrow thing to split and then we're going to basically pop the dot that is on the um so, sorry hold up basically when you get a file it's going to look like this so we're going to do like just for instance it's going to look like that okay so what we're going to do is we're going to pop uh, split everything after the dot and then we're basically just gonna remove um, the uh, JS so if it's not JS it's just gonna basically return that it's not a JS then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that it checks to see if there is actually files in the directory so we're gonna do a JS file dot length and this just basically uh, um, checks the length of the files and if it equals zero it's gonna uh, right now it's gonna return nothing but in a second it's gonna console log and then we can just do uh, let's let's just make it kind of look cool I guess logs without holding shift logs couldn't find commands with an exclamation mark um, we'll add a return here that is definitely not how you spell return and semicolon then basically that is that little section there now we want to go down here uh js.file for each and then we want to do what do we want to do we want to do f i i think your yeah, arrow un arrow function that's not an arrow this and then that's that and then what we want to do is let uh pull let's just do pull for instance require it's not how you spell require require dot commands no sorry dot that if i can get directories fucking right jesus christ um and then we're gonna do f and that's basically the file. So it's going to go into the commands uh, folder and then it's going to look through every single one of the files inside of it to find the one that we want. Then we want to do bot.commands.set 
pull.config. And that's just gonna, uh, sorry, I'll, I'll explain it in a bit. And then pull, and that's just gonna do that. And then bam. And then we wanna do pull.config.aliases. Dot, dot for each. Bam, alias, arrow function, because arrow functions are babes. Arrow functions, bot dot aliases dot set alias pull dot config dot name. Okay, so let's explain this a little bit. Uh, let's add these quickly. Okay, so this is going to define basically this. It's the exact same thing. It's going to go into the commands folder, which we haven't created, but we'll create right now. Command, command folder. And basically it's going to search for the file and it's going to do it by the name. So obviously when someone types prefix plus whatever command, it's going to look through the files and find that. And uh, this is basically it. A lot of the other tutorials will show you to do, do, uh, do two um, export modules. I don't do that. Just don't do that. It's the most pointless thing ever. Um, but we're actually going to create a new file and we're going to name it what's what's uh we got the hello command i guess we'll do server info actually server info.js now obviously we want to be able to run the module so we're going to start it up by doing const discord and then equals require uh discord.js and then we want to do module.export dot run equals async don't forget the async um because i watched you know you'll get a bunch of errors and stuff and then people ask what it is blah 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 message args and then we want to go dash bam that and this is where the command will go so command here and then what we want to do is we want to make another export so we'll do module dot export dot config so this right here is going to be where um, we're going to put the name of the uh, command. So server info, and then we're going to put the aliases and then why isn't that working? Aliases. Oh, sorry. I forgot to add the comma. Don't forget a comma. Otherwise it won't work. And we don't want to do that. We want to create an array. Um, so basically what you want to do is let's do SI and just to, just for this instance to show you that you can add how to add it, uh, we'll do server disk just like that. Um, it doesn't have to be capitals because what we're going to do is we're going to make it lowercase. Okay. Um, that looks pretty much it. So what we can do is we can actually go into the index file and grab all this code right here. And then basically go in here where it says command here, paste that there. But this, uh, sorry, I just realized that we might want to grab this stuff here and just stick that up the top as well. Um, that's the colors.json that I added in the last uh, episode, I believe, or the episode before that. That's so that I can do the colors right here. And uh, bot config is just in case that we call any of the uh, stuff that we have set in there. So now we can, what we can do is we can actually replace this. We can, sorry, not replace it. We can remove this. Um, but the most important thing that we want to do now is we want to make a way to be able to call the commands. Oh, <clears throat> so basically what we're going to do is we're going to add some, add some lines there to give us room. And then what we're going to do is let command file, uh, equal bot dot commands dot get cmd so we have cmd um right here cmd dot slice then we want to basically how do we define the prefix is it here yep so we want to slice the prefix so we want to do prefix dot length so we want to slice that and then or so this just basically means it's going to check for the aliases uh commands dot uh dot get sorry bot dot aliases dot get and then we're just going to do the same thing prefix dot length and uh 
Why do I feel like I've missed something? That's because I have. Um, I missed the CND dot slice, didn't I? Where do I put it? Hmm. Dot get. Uh, oh, it's right here. CMD dot slice, and then we want to add a third bracket here to get to fix that properly. If um, command file. Um, uh, yep, command file dot run. Uh, bot dot message. Uh, sorry, not bot dot message. Bot message and then args. And this is just the stuff like we've got defined in. Uh, we've got them defined in here, and they're gonna pass through this function and end up here. So we can use these. Um, yeah. So that looks to be fine to me. Um, I may have missed something, but what we can do is just check it. So we can run the code. Um, what's the, I forget what the, um, I forget what the prefix is, but we shall check when I open discord. I'll bring you guys back in a second. It's missing it. Cannot find module, but oh, sorry. Okay. I did make a mistake. So basically we have to make it go back one more directory. Um, otherwise it won't work. So because we put it in a different folder, it can't just go into the, like when it has one dot, it goes into the same directory. When it has two dots, it goes back more. Um, but if it's any further than that, which I have because I have um, kind of like a categorization, like um, command handler for my bot, Strathium. Um, if it goes any further back than that, then you need to do it a different way. Um, but what we can do is we'll just close this again and we'll open it. And then it should be online. Then what we will do is we will pull server info and it should just work. Yep. So as you can see, it's pulled the server info. But the one thing I want to do is... So basically what I want to do here, sorry, is I want to just add it. So if the message doesn't start. So if uh, message dot content dot starts with. Um, and this exclamation mark here means if it doesn't. Uh, start with um, and then prefix. We're just gonna make it return. Um, return. That I, I keep spelling return wrong. So this is the basic command here that we're gonna need. We're gonna remove the hello command because it's the most pointless command. Um, but what we can do is I will show you how to. Uh, sorry, I'll just show you that these also work. Um, it hasn't changed, but we can do this and it will pull it up as well so that just shows that the aliases work and then what we're gonna do is um i'll bring you guys back once i put them into um the fi files themselves now there's one thing i want to quickly do because this is the meme command so i want to just quickly require super agent so everything that your command may call make sure that it's defined in the actual file itself otherwise it will not work so a uh, super agent and it, that should call that and then I remove the main command. Come back. Where are you? You're right here. Good. Um, now we just want to put that in there. So that should all work there. Also, guys, if you don't want to have an alias, you're going to have to put the alias in there anyways, but you just leave it blank like that. If you remove this, it will say it will give you an error saying that there isn't like an alias thing so when it tries to look for it it's going to give you an error and it's going to crash the bot so you just want to have it in there just leave it empty if you don't want to have an alias so we've done all the commands in here and that's basically it guys thank you so much for watching this tutorial this has been connor from menu docs and i hope you have an amazing day i'll catch you guys in the next episode where we're going to be looking into doing a help command and or Maybe we'll look into doing an event handler because I absolutely love doing event handlers. It makes the index just so much better because it sh the index should only be a couple lines. Like my index on Strafium is only 25 lines long. And that's because I have an event handler, a command handler, and everything that isn't necessary, everything that isn't needed is hidden away. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See ya.